Every few years, a piece of tech quietly changes how we work, not with flashy ads, but with focus. The Mac Mini M4 isn't just small, it's redefining what a creative workstation can be in the new era of remote work. This little cube might just be the smartest machine Apple's built in years. But here's the thing, not everyone needs a Mac Mini. Some people will fall in love with it instantly, and for others, it'll just sit on their desk, underused. So, let's get real. Who is this tiny powerhouse actually for, and who should skip it? Because behind its quiet aluminum shell is a very specific kind of computer, built for a very specific kind of person. And if you're that person, it might just change the way you work, create, and think about what a desktop even is. Let's start with what makes this machine special, and then we'll see if it's your kind of machine. <laughs> Last 12 years, I've used both Windows and Mac as a student, a creator, and a solopreneur trying to make things happen. I've worked on almost every kind of setup you can imagine, from budget Windows laptops that overheated during 1080p edits to high-end MacBook Pros that felt more like investments than tools. Windows gave me flexibility, build what you want, tweak what you like, but it also gave me clutter, distractions, and way too many pop-ups when I just wanted to focus. Mac, on the other hand, always felt calmer. It was about flow, open it, start creating, and forget about the system behind the screen. But that simplicity always came with a price. Most students, freelancers, and creators couldn't justify paying pro money just for smoother focus. Even the MacBook Air M2, starting around $1,099, or the MacBook Pro M3 at $1,599, felt out of reach for many. That's exactly where the Mac Mini M4 changes everything. It brings Apple's latest 3 nanometer M4 chip, the same architecture found in the newest iPad Pro, into a desktop that starts at just $599, making it one of the most affordable entry points into Apple Silicon. And it's not just about price. You get that same clean Apple experience, fast, silent, and reliable, without the premium cost of a laptop or studio rig. It's small enough to disappear into your setup, yet powerful enough to handle real creative work. 4K Premiere Pro edits, multi-layer Photoshop files, After Effects, 3D animation, Xcode builds, or Logic Pro sessions all at once. After using both worlds for years, I can say this confidently. The M4 Mini hits a rare balance. Power, price, and peace of mind. So, who is it really for? It's for the students turning curiosity into skills the creators chasing ideas at 2 a.m., and the solopreneurs who want a setup that just works quietly, consistently, every single day. The Mac Mini M4 is ideal for anyone who wants desktop-level performance without paying for portability. If you're a creator, it's a quiet beast. The M4 chip built on 3 nanometer architecture packs up to 10 CPU cores and 10 core GPU, with unified memory bandwidth reaching 120 gigabytes per second. In real terms, that means smooth 4K editing in Final Cut Pro, responsive 3D viewport performance in Blender, instant previews in DaVinci Resolve, and lag-free layers in Photoshop or Illustrator. And here's what really surprised me, the boot up time. From power on to the desktop, the Mac Mini M4 takes around 12 seconds, compared to roughly 25 to 30 seconds on older Intel Minis. Apps like Safari Mail and Notes open almost instantly, while heavy ones like After Effects or Photoshop launch in under 5 to 8 seconds, thanks to Apple's unified memory architecture and ultra-fast SSD. So when you sit down to create, there's zero friction. It feels ready before you are. Even with the base 16 gigabytes of unified memory, you can run multiple creative apps side by side. Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Lightroom, Google Chrome, all open, and it doesn't even flinch. Pair it with an external NVMe SSD or Thunderbolt RAID enclosure, and it turns into a serious studio setup that rivals rigs costing twice as much. For coders and developers, this machine hits a sweet spot. It runs Xcode, VS Code, Docker, and Node effortlessly, and compiles large projects faster than the M2 Pro Mac Mini in most benchmarks. With its silent thermal design, no fan noise, no throttling, 
It's ideal for long coding sessions or build pipelines. If you're into web dev or back-end work, you'll love how stable and responsive it feels, especially when running local servers, containerized environments, or even light ML tasks using Apple's new Neural Engine, which now reaches 38 trillion operations per second. Speaking of powerful computing, whether you're on Mac or PC, you need reliable software. That's where today's sponsor, KeysFan, comes in. KeysFan offers genuine activation keys for Mac apps, Microsoft Office, Windows 11, Windows 10, Office 365, and more at unbeatable prices. Right now, use coupon code ESSE50 to get 50% off Windows series, or code ESSE62 for 62% off Microsoft Office series. It's super simple. Add to cart, apply your coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. Your genuine license key arrives instantly. Check out the links in the description below. If you're a solopreneur or remote professional, the M4 Mini is basically your daily driver. Client presentations, video editing, and multitasking all at once. It supports up to two displays, 6K plus 5K, so your productivity setup scales easily. And because it only draws around 20 watts on average, it's incredibly energy efficient, running cool, quiet, and stable all day. But for students, it's a slightly different story. Most students need portability, something they can take to class libraries or group projects. And yeah, I know the Mac Mini is small enough to slip in your backpack, maybe even your jacket pocket, but that's not the point. It still needs a monitor, keyboard, and mouse to actually work. So while it's technically compact, it's not truly portable. It's great for a fixed setup in your dorm or study space, especially if you already have a monitor. But if you're moving between classes, the MacBook Air M4, or even the older M2, makes more sense. Same chip, built-in display, and battery life that lasts up to 18 hours. And if your budget's tighter, even the MacBook Air M1 still gives you great performance and long battery life for less. The Mac Mini M4, then, is not a general-purpose computer. It's a focused desktop tool, perfect for workstations, not backpacks. And that's really the point. The Mac Mini M4 isn't trying to replace your laptop. It's built for people who've moved past the portable phase, people who value a stable, distraction-free setup more than working from cafes or airports. Apple didn't design this machine to scream for attention. It's meant to disappear, a quiet aluminum block that simply does its job. At just five inches wide and two inches tall, it's smaller than most external hard drives, yet it powers workflows that used to need massive towers. It draws less power than a light bulb around 20 watts on average, and still delivers performance that rivals the M3 Pro in many real-world tasks. For creators, coders, and solopreneurs, that's the dream setup. You turn it on, it's silent, it's instant, and it just works. No fan hum, no startup delay, no visual clutter. It fades into the background so your ideas can take the spotlight. It's not made to travel with you. It's made to belong on your desk, a permanent part of a workspace that's calm, focused, and consistent, where every cable has a reason, every tool has a place, and your mind finally gets room to breathe. In many ways, this is what Apple does best. The Mac Mini M4 isn't revolutionary because of raw power. It's revolutionary because it makes power feel effortless. It reminds us that creativity doesn't need noise. Productivity doesn't need flash. Sometimes all you need is a small, silent cube that quietly makes your world work better. Oh, 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 oh,